everyone. It's me, New York vocalist Benita Charles, here for another episode of Singing Tips. I hope you're having a wonderful, wonderful weekend and a lovely evening. It's a little late for Singing Tips, but I thought I'd just pop on anyway and give you the recap show because I uh, see I have one person. Hello, how are you? I'm sorry about the lighting, it's a little weird, but you know, we'll, we'll work with it. <laughs> how is everyone doing tonight? I hope you're having a great evening. This is the recap show of Singing Tips. So for the last few weeks, we've been talking about your original music and we are, hi Ron, how are you? And we are closing out the uh, original music section of singing tips. If you don't know who I am, my name is Benita Charles and every week I give singing tips to beginner singers to help them become professional singers. And we've been talking about original, your original music for the last few weeks. And this is the recap show because we are, we have completed that section. Can you believe it? Oh, thanks, got a thumbs up, thanks a lot. So, can you believe it? We've talked about your talent, we've talked about live music, and we just finished talking about your original music. So this is a recap show just to, uh, oh, hi, thanks for the shout out. <laughs> um, yeah, anytime. Thank you guys for the reactions, I really, really appreciate it. So, uh, yeah, so we've been counting them down from tip number one, and we've got one through 30. So this is the singing tips for, oh, hi, Tyrone, how are you? Um, you're a man of God, a deacon, 100%, a deacon in training. Oh, well, best of luck to you with that. I hope all, the, all goes well, and thanks for joining me for singing tips. So we've been counting down the singing tips from uh, 21 through 30. So all of the singing tips from this section has been about your original music. Just to give you a background on singing tips, every week I'm going to talk about this movie because this movie inspired singing tips. The Get On Up James Brown Story movie uh, 2014. And um, it was a wonderful movie if you haven't seen it. And in the movie, James talked about show business, the show part and the business part. He uh, was a great showman on stage, but he also was a great businessman. And um, his manager wanted him to just focus on the show, and James said, no, 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 I'm gonna do both. And that's exactly what he did. So that's, it. that's what inspired the way I'm doing singing tips. We have a show part, we have a business part. We're in the show part, but we, we're we coming to the last section of the show part is your image, and that's coming up next. But right now, we're recapping what we talked about in the original music section. So this show is a recap of the original music section. So we're going to just get right to it. So 21, in tip number 21... I talked about it was called write your own song or write your own music and I talked about why I thought it was important for every singer to write their own music and the story that I told in that tip was um, I was inspired to do this by I met an artist several years ago he was in a group called all about chat and he said to me he said Benita why aren't you writing your own songs? You need to write your own songs. And he gave me a copy of his CD, All About Chad. And that was the beginning of my journey to doing my own music. And it took me, it took me several years. I'm not gonna say it happened right away. But several years later, that's exactly what I did. And I don't regret it. And I uh, encourage all of the singers to do that. So that's what inspired this section. Oh, hi, Jerry. Jerry has joined. Paul McClure has joined. Tyrone, Ron. Thanks, guys, for being here. I really appreciate it. So, you know what? I think what I'll do is first, I'll, let me just run through the tips, and then we'll go back. So, 
tip number 21, as I said, was write your own song. Tip number 22 was choose your song topic. Tip number 23, the song structure. Tip number 24, music and lyrics. Tip number 25, elements of a hit song. Tip number 26, how to conquer writer's block. Tip number 27, protect your song, copyright it. Tip number 28, three key reasons to collaborate. Tip number 29, working with a producer. And tip number 30 from last week, the recording process and completing your song. So these are all the things that we talked about in the original music section. So we'll just go through briefly, just go through each one briefly, but that's, you know, that's basically all of the tips of this section. So it was really important for me to encourage the singers to write their own songs because that's what happened with me and I really feel like we all have our own voice we all have a gift and we owe it to ourselves and the world to share our gifts because you never know you could be sitting on a message that someone needs to hear so that's why I think that if you're a singer and uh, you have a gift it's imperative for you to share your your gift so tip number 21 was all about why I feel like you should write your own songs sharing my story of Chad all about Chad and how he inspired me to do and I never I never saw him again after that day but it just goes to show you that a lot of times People come into your lives for a reason. There was a reason why I met Chad all those years ago for him to tell me to write and record and release my own music. And so I'm telling you right now that if you have a gift, if you have a dream, that you should use your gifts and talents. You never know who, what message, what your message can do to someone someone may need to hear that message that you have so that was number 21 22 was choose how to choose your song topic so basically I was saying with that one was you you choose it from your experience the things that inspire you and basically whatever you like so that was tip number 22 tip number 23 was the song structure and I talked about how I write my songs like the structures of my songs and um, I'm just running through these tips because I have to go fast but if you really want to in depth of the tips just go back to my blog and BCM sings um, click on the bio it takes you to the blog and then also on YouTube all the videos are archived for now I'm just leaving them up there for now on YouTube so everything is there so if you want to see everything in the entire entirety just go to YouTube but right now I'm just running through them quickly just so you know so I was talking about uh, number 23 was how did uh, I'm sorry 23 yes was the sing the songwriting structure so normally um, hi Mars Goodman how are you thanks for joining us singing tips um, just want to let you know that we're going through the tips from the your music section um, this is uh, singing tips and every week I give singing tips to beginner singers to help them become professional I've had oh hi cousin how are you Louis um, I had sections on your talent live music and now we're going over the section on your original music we just completed that so I'm going through all the tips of that section this is the recap show so we're on 23 the songwriting structure so I told you that I normally want the way I write my songs is I do a verse chorus verse a bridge and then a chorus so and there's a, there's other song structures that you could um, you could use as well but that's the the that's the popular one and that's the one I like because I like having a bridge which is kind of like a different part of the music oh hi thanks so much I really appreciate it yeah I'm hoping someone gets <laughs> some use out of these tips but you know I I'll go into that a little bit later because uh, I just wanted to say something about singing tips but I'll say it a little later after this but yeah so that's the song structure that I use and I like it because you know 
Um, I have the verses, which is kind of like is the introduction of the song, and then the chorus is the hook, and that's the that's the meat. You know, that's what everybody loves the hook. That's the the, the part that repeats over and over. But I like the bridge because it kind of like it is it's a bridge between the first part of the song and then the highlight of the song. So that's kind of my structure. That's co co uh, verse, chorus, verse, chorus, bridge, chorus. Okay. Tip, tip number 24 was uh, all about music and lyrics. And so basically I asked the question, what's more important? Is it more important to have the lyric, you know, which, but basically I said both, you know, you need a good, you need good lyrics. You need, um, and also you need beautiful music. So, um, what I say? Oh, and then I talked about, um, then I talked about like it, what, how um, inspiration, like when I'm inspired, sometimes I get the music first in my in my head, or sometimes I get the lyrics, or you know, sometimes I get both. So that's what that was all about. So tip number twenty five was elements of a hit song. So you know what makes a hit song? A catchy title, riveting lyrics. Uh, music that that uh, evoke emotions and a great song arrangements and I like this little acronym from the book uh, the complete idiots guide to songwriting they have an acronym uh, hits h-i-t so the h stands for the hook the I stands for idea and the T stands for title, which I thought was kind of clever. So the hook is that part that, you know, everything, it always repeats. If you notice a lot of times, most songs is all hook, you know, it's just something that repeats over and over. And the idea, like if you have a good song topic, you know, it's something that resonates with the audience, that strikes a chord. And of course, a catchy title. So that's, I, I thought that was kind of a clever way of, of uh, an acronym for a hit song. HIT, H-I-T, the hook, the idea, and the title. Okay, that's 20, 25. So number 26 was three ways to conquer writer's block. So um, I have step away from the song, keep writing through it, you know, just do some free, free form writing, and then establish a schedule because sometimes it helps to just set aside a block of time and just you know lock yourself away get into a quiet space and just you know plug through it and just think and just write your, your heart out so that was number 26 so tip number 27 was protect your work copyright it so we talked about why the reasons why it's good to legally protect your work and um, it protects people from stealing your songs and also you have full rights to the song so when you own that song then you can do whatever you want with it and the website for that was copyright.gov so you can go there and you and you can get the forms and you can also copyright online so number 28 was collaboration um, why you should collaborate and one of the thing one of the reasons why is it gives a fresh perspective you get some new ideas and you have a chance to create a hit song with someone and I like what Cliffy Stone said in his book everything you ever always wanted to know about songwriting but didn't know who to ask he said that 50% um, of a song is better than a hundred percent of nothing oh, 50 percent of something is better than a hundred percent of nothing so he basically he said that you know it's better to have uh, collaborate with someone have a hit song make some money 50 percent of it or you have a song on your own but it's not doing anything so I thought that was cool so uh, tip number 29 was working with a producer and it was all about finding the right producer and establishing a good relationship so when you find that right producer basically through uh, through referral is the best way and a good producer is someone that's going to work with you get to know you and um work work what's best for you so um and then the last one we did last week was release your music so we talked about the recording process we talked about the three parts to the recording process which is pre-production the production and the post-production we talked about um, pre-production is preparing your song. The production was actually the actual recording of your song, and post-production is the final mix when the when the producer mixes the the all the the vocals and the music together, and then the mastering after that after the final mix you get it mastered, um, and that takes the song to the uh, next level. And 
it gives it gives it that crisp radio sound so and, and also you use your master is what the duplicating company used to copy your copies and it sounds perfect so yeah that was it I know that was a you know like kind of like speed <laughs> speed reading of it but this is the, the recap show is, is basically all about just recapping it's not really to go in depth if you need to go in depth then you can go back to um, all of the tips on my blog which is on BCM sings and um, Insta on Instagram click on BCM sing on the bio in, in that uh, BCM sings account and it takes you to the blog and then also you can go on YouTube and on YouTube has all the videos but I just wanted to do a quick recap because um, just so just so we can know like how far we come and what we talked about so I had said Jerry what did you say you say hi and thank you I think I think I sing songs that people write better that other people write better oh that's good too although I do write my own my problem is I don't have anything to say anymore but I have great music but I but I know lyrical inspiration that's good too you know some I mean sometimes not everybody you know what I, I guess I maybe I should clarify something I'm not saying that you have to do it but I'm saying that if you are a singer that it's good to do your own music because number one you make more money as a songwriter and as doing your own music than if you're just a, a vocalist like for instance um if you if you write your own music and you release it yourself you get all the profits i put like this weird lighting on myself so <laughs> i know it looks a little weird this is not normal but i just thought it'd be kind of cool to do this so if the, if the colors look a little funny that's why but um yeah but if you're you know what there's nothing wrong with being just a vocalist as well if you know because we need to hear the the emotions and the expressions and your take on the song i mean that's just as important too i mean to connect with the audience with a song you love and something that someone wrote and you can take it and put your own style and and your own artistry and mastery i mean that's that's something too jerry so you know by all means i i guess i i don't want it to sound like i'm saying you gotta do it but i'm just saying that you said you don't have anything to write about i find that a little hard to believe because you have your life you have experiences you have things that you've seen in your life you have things that's happened to you in your life that's what you can write about you can write about what's going on in the world you can write about what's what's going on around you you know i really believe that there's something that you can write about but if you don't want to it's okay you know i'm just saying that i think it's a great thing oh and i wanted to cap off this this um section by saying that once you did all those tips that i said this is what you come out with you come out with your finished product now this is moments in love i did this um some years ago i'm actually due for new music but i just want to show you that once you do all those steps that I told you that's the finished product you have your own music you have you know all the songs you've written all that you copyrighted your music from all the tips that I said you you took your time and you chose your your topics you wrote your songs you, you um, maybe you collaborated with someone you found a great producer and you went through the recording process and this is the end result so it's, it's a great feeling to get it done. It's a great feeling to do it. So I encourage you to do it. Uh, so just to give you a recap, tip number 21 was write your own song. Tip number 22 was choose your song topic. Tip number 23 was the song structure. Tip number 24 was music and lyrics. Tip number 25 was elements of a hit song. Tip number 26 was how to conquer writer's block. Tip number 27 was protect your song, copyright it. Tip number 28 was three reasons why you should collaborate. Tip number 29 was working with a producer. And tip number 30 was the recording process and the completion of your song. So that is 
the original music section of singing tips so i hope that this was helpful to you guys um so anyway i said something earlier i told you that i wanted to say something about singing tips later so what i wanted to say was i just wanted to thank everyone for your uh your interest in singing tips for your attention for coming in and every week and supporting me i just wanted to let you know how much it means to me and i'm excited because by me doing these singing tips to help you, it's actually helped me. It's enlightened, uh, ignited a fire in me that that has been, um, I haven't had in a while. And I think it's just because a lot of this stuff, you know, a lot of these things are things that I know or things that I've experienced. Um, and it's just kind of brought some excitement back to me. And you know, you need that. As an artist, you need that passion, you need that excitement, you need, you know, it kind of helps fuel you. And so I want to thank you for, um, you know, uh, just encouraging me and, and, you know, telling me that you like these singing tips. And I also want to ask that if you, if these singing tips has helped you, please let me know because I need some testimonials. So if you can you know put some notes in in the comments of how the singing tips has helped you and if you don't mind me using them um in my marketing i would love it because i would i i, I would like to know like if this is helpful to you it's definitely helping me so i just want to thank you guys and um thank you so much for everything so this is it this has cl this closed the your original music section we're going to be moving on to image but before we move on um this was part one of the recap show um we're going to be i'm going to be coming back tomorrow for part two because we had an expert in this section um mrs zania noah she is a singer songwriter um businesswoman and she is the founder of the, the singerelite.com which is a, a community of singers um but i wanted to do a special show for her because she was our special guest for this section the original music but i i'm gonna do that on a different show because um i want to dedicate a, the show to her a whole show to her so that's gonna be on part two but but right now you know we're just counting down the tips for the your music section i want to thank you guys so much again as i said for your support and um i hope that you have a nice evening i will see you again tomorrow for the part two of singing tips so thank you again and i hope you have a wonderful evening